Number 20. Two parallel conducting plates are separated by 10 centimeters, and one of them is taken to be at zero volts. Letter A. What is the electric field strength between them if the potential, 8 centimeters from the zero volt plate and 2 centimeters from the other, is 450 volts? So here's a little picture. Parallel plate. We got a plate over here and a plate over here. They told us that the uh, voltage at one of the plates we're going to assume to be zero. We do not know then the voltage at the other plate. We do know, though, that the voltage, about 8 centimeters from the zero plate, is going to be 450 volts. So the question now is asking, what's the electric field strength between the two plates? So here's the thing. Remember the electric field strength we can assume to be constant in a parallel plate capacitor. What that means is that if I could find maybe the electric field strength between these two points, then... I know the electric field strength between the whole thing because it's constant everywhere between the two plates overall. Okay, so what that means is that I have a distance, right? Remember, we have to base it off of the zero volt plate. Why? Well, because remember the formula, the voltage between point A and point B basically really means the voltage difference, okay, is equal to then the electric field strength between them multiplied by the distance. I need to know the difference in voltage between A and B. I know this is zero and this is 450, so what's the difference? 450. If this is 450 and this is unknown, what's the difference? Hmm, and that's why. So, 450, that's the difference. The electric field strength is, strength is what we're looking for. And the distance then between the two points, right, this point here and this point here, was eight centimeters. You know you need that in meters, so divide that then by uh, 100. So it's going to be 0 0.08 meters. Divide out 0 .8, 0 0.08, excuse me, from both sides, and what do we get? 450 divided by 0 0.08. It's going to be 5,000, 5,625, I guess three six fake, so 630. And that'll be volts per meter. So that's the electric field strength. Now that, remember, that's the electric field strength between these two points, but that's also the electric field strength between the whole parallel plate because it's constant everywhere. All right? So hopefully that makes sense. Letter B. Let's see. Uh, what is the voltage between the plates now? So they want us to now find, basically they want us to find this voltage uh, here. And in other words, they want us to find the potential difference between the two plates. We know this to be zero, right? So whatever, you know, if I were to take this uh, into account, I know the difference between then the zero voltage plate and this voltage plate will be exactly equal to the voltage at that plate because this is zero. All right. Now, there's a few ways to think through this. One, you can use some formulas if you like. The other way I like to do this is I know that you know, there's a different flavor on it, um, but I know that the uh, voltage is basically proportional to the distance. Okay, why? Well, look at the formula. Voltage is equal to the constant electric field multiplied by the distance, right? So if this is constant, okay, if that's constant, then if D goes up by some amount, the voltage will go up by that same proportional amount, right? So that being the case, I like to actually look at this as a simple percentage problem. So in other words, I know that the, uh, I know that this started at zero, then it got to 450 volts, right? And this is going about what percentage of the way across the parallel plate? Like from the zero potential, what percent of the way across the entire plate is this point? Well, 80%. How do we do that? Well, what's the total distance? The total distance here is simply going to be 10 centimeters. They mentioned that also in the problem, right? And now at this point, then, if this point is eight centimeters from the zero potential plate, then I know that this particular point here is 80% of the way, we can say, all the way to then the full length of the capacitor, which would then give me the full voltage, right? So in other words, this voltage at this point is 80% of the overall value. How did I get 80%? Remember, it's eight centimeters, that length divided by the whole length, okay? So, if I told you that 450 is 80% of the full value of the full voltage, how would you find the full voltage? You can just apply some math, right? 
meaning I know that 450 is equal to 80% of the full voltage. I'll just call it V sub F for full voltage, the overall voltage, okay? The voltage of this plate, you can call it. So what would you do? Oh, well, if I got to find this, then I just divide out the 80%, right? Remember when you do percents though, you need it in a decimal, so 0 0.8. So just divide this by 0 0.8 and look, watch what you get. So 450 divided by 0 0.8. Oh my goodness, there it is, right? 500, I guess three six figs, whatever. 563 volts, all right? And that's the voltage. You could do it another way too. You could use the formula a few times and figure that out. Doesn't matter. We're all gonna end up at the same place. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna change the color here because I realized I started it in blue and then I went to a different color. So here's all the work nicely laid out, and there you go. That's it, okay? Not necessarily did I use this formula, but you can use the formula. Why don't you try it a different way, see if you can figure it out formulaically that way. I like to, well, I like to give you a little intuition sometimes. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you in the next problem. Be well.